how are you doing today? I've got a really quick tip, productivity tip for you today about giving your week days structure and giving your entire week a structure that's consistent so that you can get more done. All right, this is something I've implemented. I have all my clients implement it. It makes a world of difference. And what I mean by that is giving every specific day of the week a theme, a task, you know, whatever you want to call it, right? So I'm going to give you an example. On Mondays, I do all my client calls. Mondays are reserved for client calls, mastermind, and that's it. I do not schedule any discovery calls, any connection calls, any networking events, nothing. And so why I'm telling you this before I go any further is what I'm trying to say is that when you don't have any structure to your weeks, it can get extremely busy. And like next thing you know, it's Friday and you're not even sure you got any of your to-do list done, right? Because you've been on calls every other day. And the reality is, is like when you're taking calls nonstop, it's really hard to get anything else done because you get off a call, you got to take a break, you regroup, you're trying to get ready for your next call. It's not like, even if you have an hour in between, that hour is really not that productive. So you have this long list of to-do and you can't get any of it done because your days are so broken up. There's absolutely no structure. Some people use time blocking, but a lot of people find time blocking to be very overwhelming in the sense too, because you set two hours aside and it's like, well, what am I supposed to do now? So this is what I have found to be better. And when I say this is by giving your days a specific theme or task so that every single week it's consistent. You know what's ahead. You know what to expect. Your clients know what to expect and you can just move forward and get your shit done right? So like, for example, Monday's client calls. For me, it's important to get all my client calls done on Monday. It gets them off and running, starts their week off correctly. No, nothing else on Mondays. Tuesday, because I've been on the phone all day Monday, um, I spend Tuesdays as an admin day. If you are not scheduling an admin day or at least a half day for admin only, you need to do that because that's where your overwhelm is coming in is because you're not giving yourself any time to actually get the things done on your list for your business that you want to do. So Tuesday, I have I take no calls, no client calls, nothing. My entire calendar, I call it gray block, is gray blocked off, meaning nothing can get into it. And I use it to either if I owe my clients something, like I update all their call notes from our calls the day before inside our project management tool. I record all my podcasts on Tuesday. I, you know, batch content all my social on Tuesdays. All of those admin tasks, if you're not outsourcing them, you need a day to get them done, right? Wednesdays, full calls again, networking, connection calls, discovery calls, whatever you call them, coffee chats. You've got to be doing something for client acquisition, right? Lead generation, getting people in your into your circle. What are you doing for that? I schedule those on Wednesdays and Thursday afternoons. So Wednesday, a lot of times I'm booked again, all day calls, right? But I know that going into it. And Tuesday, I had all day to get my stuff done. And so I also had Tuesday to prep for my calls on Wednesday. And then Thursday morning, I leave open whether it's for client calls or whether it's more admin too. Like if I was on a call on Wednesday, so say you were on a call with a prospect and you owe them information, you want to get that off to them. You can say, hey, I'll make sure I get that off to you in the morning because you know you've got time set aside for it. If you're back to back and you've got calls again and you owe somebody something and you tell them you're going to send them a proposal or a contract or an invoice and you have no time in your calendar to actually do it, you're either going to buzz through it and it's probably going to have a mistake in it. You're going to do, you know what I mean? Like just give yourself these days, like set yourself up for success and not being so freaking busy. You can't see straight. Right. So, and then Fridays are personal for me, catch up, I batch content, whatever it is. If you do VIP days, set a day aside for those VIP days. If you do done for you client work, set those days aside. And so you're only doing client work on those days. Do not interrupt your days with like these random calls. You don't need to do it. Trust me when I tell you, people will get used to this. Like this need to be available the second somebody wants you is it it's this world of instant gratification and it's not it's not going to help you grow. It's you are an expert and in order for you to show up as your best self, 
you need to have those structure and those boundaries as well, right? If you are all over the place and you're running and bouncing from one thing to the next, to the next, to call, 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 how do you show up being your best self? Like you can't, you cannot show up being your best self and you cannot give 100% to the, that call, to that task, to anything, because you're constantly thinking about the fact that you're behind on something else. So this is like crucial to me to make sure I don't care it doesn't have to follow the same if Mondays are your admin day make Mondays an admin day if it's easier for you to take two half days as an admin day take two half days what I'm trying to say is pick out the three or four really important things that you need to get done every single day like what are those tasks what are those themes whether it's client calls whether it's client work whether it's networking and connection, if it's admin, if it's personal, kids, whatever, and schedule them in. And so then every single day when you get on the phone, you say, hey, I book all my client calls on Monday, what works for you? Or, hey, I do all my coffee chats on Wednesday, I've got this Wednesday available at whatever time. Obviously, if you use a scheduler, it's easier, but people expect that, right? And if somebody can't wait two days or one day to get on the phone with you and they're gonna make a decision prior to that, the reality is they probably weren't going to be your client anyways, right? And if they are desperate and they're begging you, there's always room for customization. There's always room for emergencies. There's always room to make exceptions to the rule. But as a general rule, you got to have some boundaries. Give yourself some structure. I promise it'll take the overwhelm off, okay? Um, I do have a worksheet. If you want, DM me on Instagram and just say um, weekly structure worksheet, would love the weekly structure worksheet. I have a worksheet that actually helps you lay this out. So if it's if you feel like you just can't get it done on your own, let me know, I'm happy to help you walk through it. Um, but I promise, like implement it, give it a couple weeks. It's gonna take time for it to settle in. It's gonna take time for you to like get used to this, but I promise when you do, you're gonna be like, oh my God, why did I not do this sooner? Okay, I'll talk to you soon.